In many ways, today's special forces emulate the ninja. But are the basic techniques of the ninjutsu still relevant? Could the ninja still function in today's world of high-tech espionage and state-of-the-art weaponry? We designed a scenario in which a house in Los Angeles stands in for a shogun's castle, or a modern-day safe house. Security expert Bruce Cardenas has protected hundreds of celebrities and executives. Both he and his partner, Demetrius Connor, are former police officers. They will guard a man who is the target of an imaginary assassination. The test, can an intruder or intruders penetrate the safe house, get past the guards and assassinate the target? We asked both ninjutsu master Stephen Hayes and a team of Navy SEALs to attempt the mission. We'll compare their techniques. The leader of the Navy SEALs is Mike Andrews, a 10-year police veteran and instructor. Well, in any sort of operation like this, anything is possible, but because of the repetition, as far as our practice and our skill level, we feel that we are the best trained and we will achieve our mission. In a five-room area on the first floor of the safe house, Ten remote cameras have been installed to record the action. This will be the hot zone, where no outsiders are allowed, not even a camera crew. Historian Daniel Martinez briefs Bruce and Demetrius on the rules. Your mission is to defend him from any threat. You've been armed with weapons. The weapons are lasers. If either an attacker or a defender is tagged by a laser, he's out of the game. Now you're the target, and you'll know you've been had when they take your hat off, and that's the end of the game, okay? okay? Daniel walks the guards through the hot zone. There's only one entrance, which leads to a narrow hallway. Anyone who enters this area should be considered hostile. Can we use any barricades or move any furniture? No, you can't move the furniture or, the, or barricade yourself in. So you look at the rooms, you decide what the advantage is. Bruce and Demetrius are told to expect any number of attacks in any form over a 10-hour period. Gentlemen, it's time for you to go into the area, and this area is now hot. Ready? Come on, let's go. The defenders decide to put their client in the bathroom near the back of the house. In the event of a gunfight, they want a location that offers cover and safety. Put the toilet seat down. Okay. Downstairs, technical director Cole Berry monitors the defenders and asks them trivia questions. Your trivia question, Dimitri, is who is the Lucy? And the Lucy's firing. Go find the answer. Roger, stand by. The trivia quiz will force the defenders to move about the hot zone to reach reference books containing the answers. This will emulate the periodic patrols that Japanese castle guards might have made in similar circumstances. The defenders wear helmet cameras, so we can see what they do. As the defensive team gets orientated, the SEALs begin their operation outside. They deploy a sniper who uses a tried and true ninja technique, camouflage. Indoors, the SEAL assault team prepare as well. Mission like this, we're gonna wear dark colored outfits, uh, masks, so that we uh, blend in and uh, we're stealthy and we're matching the dimly lit conditions of the target. The sniper determines the position of the target using a high powered rifle scope and relays it to the assault team, who move into position. We have intel that they have pre-ordered rounds that they make around the premises, and we're going to ambush one of their security element there. The attack lasts less than 20 seconds. Lock it down. Bruce is ambushed by three SEALs. He barely gets his gun out of the holster. 
I think I heard them the same time I saw them. It was uh, simultaneously. When the shooting starts, the seals have to be quick. Demetrius' handgun is no match for the seals' automatic weapons. Came in. I saw movement here to the right. I saw his gun sticking out behind the doorway, so I just stitched him right up. The seals made short work of the guards, using surprise and overwhelming firepower to get to the target. How would a ninja master approach the same assignment? After one defeat, Bruce and Demetrius decide to move the target to a different bathroom. They are determined not to fail a second time. But Stephen Hayes plans on using a completely different strategy than the SEALs. What I wanted to do was go in with minimum backup. Little intelligence, I went in with no weapon, I had no uh, big team to go in. Here, the myth of the ninja diverges from the reality. The myth, a ninja assassin dressed in black would creep furtively through the shadows to reach his objective. The reality, the ninja was more likely to use deception to slip past the guards. Stephen will pretend to be a production assistant working with the television crew. The real thing is we look like what people expect to see and therefore we go invisible. I had a can of air that I was using to appear to be cleaning off some lenses there. Stephen begins to probe the perimeter of the hot zone. Parker, we have somebody up here. Demetri, we got people up here. Can I help you, sir? Just, we're setting a camera up here. You know, I'm not to send you away. No one announced you. Bruce isn't fooled by the ploy and won't let him pass the front hall. So how, how did that go? He came out gun drawn and uh, confronted me in there, so uh, they're real jumpy. Stephen believes in his strategy and perseveres. I had recruited a young woman to assist me in just kind of wearing them down. I would send her in, smiling, the tool belt on, offering drinks. This doesn't look like a danger. Hello there. Can I help you? Guys, I brought you some donuts. Why, why don't anyone announce you guys? Pardon? You know, I'm not to send you away. No one announced you. OK. Should I leave them on the ground? No, you can take it back. Okay. They got to see people who they knew weren't supposed to be here were confusing the issue. What the f man? Why are you doing this? It's a booby trap, man. Get her out of here. So I used her to help wear them down. I mean, this guy came up here again. Where did you go for that? It's, right up on us, it's now 3.20 p.m. The defenders have been in the safe house for a bit more than three hours. With no apparent threat, Boredom begins to set in. Stephen Hayes has another go. Demetrius, what's this? The police SWAT people, they were so good, they were so observant. My role in order to get through their defenses was to be slightly bumbling, slightly frustrated. I'm this harmless person. Can I help you, sir? Uh, these foggers are clogging up our little lenses. All right. Just spray them here. I don't know why they're not announcing you. They didn't? No, no. Okay. Get out of the chair. Yeah. Is it okay if I just get that one one spray? Right there. By ten, by ten seconds. Okay. That time he came out and told me I needed to leave. And I said, oh, I, could you give me like ten more seconds to do one more of these cameras? a little smile and I said, okay, but I'm gonna keep you covered. And he backed on down the hall. So it was a little calmer than before. I don't know why they keep doing that. Got the whole utility belt. Like he's a grip or something. As the afternoon wears on, the trivia questions keep coming. Bruce, you seem to be the genius. What is a garand? So repeat the question. Is a garand? Bruce is interrupted as he looks up the answer. Guys, what are you doing? Oh, these foggers are driving us crazy. We need to go into this wing and spray these pelcos. This is too much smoke. So why does the fog screw up the lens? I mean, it's not, it's not a moist fog. It's got that film on there. All right, go ahead. 
And I just acted like this kind of an individual who really had no idea how dangerous it was would have acted. And they assumed I was supposed to be there because I acted like I was supposed to be there. One officer was trying to figure out what grand was, so I grinned and I said, cover your mic. Cover your mic. Isn't that grand? All right. And he covered his mic and I said, it's a rifle. And just gave him a thumbs up. And so I gave him the answer like I was his buddy and was going to help him cheat. Okay, answer that question, dude. Is it, is it a long rifle? Correct. The correct answer earns Bruce his confidence, giving Stephen free reign inside the hot zone. He advances on the target. I really thought they might take the protectee out and then let us go down, but he was down there. So we went down, we walked in, I went back to the camera near where the protectee was hiding, and I was spraying it, and uh, one officer was right in the door. You know, how am I gonna get past this guy without physical contact? So I started acting annoyed. So now they're kind of looking at each other. It took Stephen a little more than four hours to wear down the guards and reach the target. What I enjoyed about this assigned mission was it was an opportunity to really show people how the ninja would operate. By going in without any overt weapons, uh, actually allowed me to move right into the middle of all that danger. Is it okay if I just get that one one spray right there? I got duped by him. I mean, it was believable that he was uh, uh, the maintenance guy. I screwed up. I, I should have held our ground, and it was a hot set. And you said there was no exceptions except for uh, the two referees.